I have divided my photo essay into three different themes, senior year, vacation trips, and holidays. This essay will evoke many emotions more than it will tell a narrative because it includes all the different memories from my high school years. The reason I have chosen to talk about these specific themes is because they stand out the most. I decided to write about my senior year because it was my final year to create lasting memories with my best friends. Traveling has always been important to me because it is valuable time shared with family and friends. These are the moments that I will remember forever. Lastly, I chose pictures from past holidays because they are the highlights of each year and always echo happiness. Luckily for me, I have many photographs documenting these exciting times. Senior year was the best part of high school because it was the, the last chance to spend time with my best friends. Towards the end of this year, my class designed a t-shirt that had the most prominent memories throughout high school inscribed in the letters of the word senior. Each time I wear this shirt, it reminds me of the good times with my friends that will never be replaced. The most significant to me are Splurge, Spook Out, and 1994 through 2008. Splurge, located inside the S, was the name of our dance production performance that is done each year. The reason we chose this title is because the show was about an old man who won the lottery and was spending his money extravagantly. We even hi hired a professional choreographer to direct our show and teach us dance moves. It was an amazing experience performing in front of my entire school. Spook Out, located inside the E, was the name of our Halloween carnival. I was in charge of the fortune telling booth and even dressed up as a magician. It was funny to see the scared faces of the children when I predicted their future. For 14 years, the class of 2008 had been together building memory after memory for so long. This is why we wanted to include all those years together from 1994 to 2008 inscribed in the letter N. Each year, the graduating class has to wear the cap and gown for a group picture. It is tradition that the picture is taken in our school's upper field where the volcano of San Salvador looms in the distance. This volcano is so beautiful and it is 6,211 feet high. It is also an icon, icon for the capital city of El Salvador, San Salvador, as the city lies on the slopes of the volcano. Another reason to love this photograph is the sense of animation and excitement when the students' caps are thrown high into the air. I am glad I knew every one of my classmates very well because they were the people who I grew up with. Every time I see this picture, it reminds me of my academic achievement at Escuela Americana. After graduation and eventually summer, it was goodbye El Salvador and hello UGA. The transition between the two very different worlds has been great so far because I have had a great time. Although it was hard at first to adjust, I have slowly found my place here at UGA. My first football game was UGA versus Georgia Southern and it was something I had never experienced before. Looking at the 92,000 plus students in red made me rush with excitement. The whole game I was screaming go dogs!" along with everyone else to show my support. I got really excited and felt it was the beginning of a long journey at UGA that would provide an excellent and academic and social environment. Everyone knows vacations are the best breaks anyone can take. They are the moments to relax and rest but also to have fun. The trips I take with my family are very valuable to me because there are times spent together learning of other cultures and societies. For this reason, I started to collect shot glasses from all the places I have been to symbolize those moments. I currently possess 154 shot glasses from all the different places I have traveled with my family and friends. However, I do have many that were given to me by close friends and relatives. Unfortunately, I had to leave them back home in El Salvador, but they are all together on a rack. Each shot glass has a story behind it as well as a large significance. For example, the shot glass in the far upper left hand corner, which is short and brown, is from Machu Picchu, Peru. All the ones separated to the right are part of my Hard Rock Cafe collection. It was given to me by my uncle as a present for my high school graduation. He passed them down to me after so many years of traveling around the world. Impressively, he has traveled to all places imaginable, from Japan to Hawaii to even Australia. Although they are hard for you to spot in the photograph, I still remember the first two shot glasses I bought. It was roughly 10 years ago and they are from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. One shot glass had three monkeys, one covering his eye, one covering his ears, and the other covering his mouth. This represents the popular phrase, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. The other depicts two large pigs tanning at the beautiful beach, making the scene very funny. 
Some other fun places I have traveled are Venezuela, Costa Rica, New York, and Mexico. But the best trip I had with my friends was my senior trip in early 2008 to Guatemala. Antigua, Guatemala is a city in the central highlands of Guatemala, famous for its well-preserved Baroque architecture, as well as a number of spectacular ruins of colonial churches. It is a beautiful place to get to know since it is a Spanish inhabitant town back in the mid 18th century. The roads are of cobblestone. There are churches everywhere you look. The city is surrounded by mountains. We had the opportunity to go into museums, souvenir shops, and go to eat at great steak restaurants. It might seem like a place for retired grandparents, but the truth is that it is a world known and many people come to this place to experience both the attractions and nightlife. We went to eat at a really good restaurant named after the famous Mexican painter, Frida Kahlo. We also visited one of the most prominent churches called Santiago Cathedral, which overlooks the main plaza that has a big central fountain. However, one can never ignore how great family trips are as well. The trip I appreciate the most with my family was two Christmases ago to New York City. My parents, my two older brothers, Jose and Henry, and I traveled by car from Atlanta, but was not as bad as it looked since we enjoyed the scenery. Being in New York City was a feeling that I will never forget as I visited every possible site with the people who are closest to me. Behind us, in the photograph, you can clearly see New York City's skyline, which is astonishing. We were about to embark on a ferry that would take us to Ellis Island Museum and the Statue of Liberty. The scenery on the ferry was absolutely stunning. We also visited other fam famous attractions like the Empire State, Rockefeller Center, Central Par Park, and even some museums like Madame Tussaud. I wish I could show the hundreds of pictures I took, but this one I think embodies the entire feeling I have about this trip. Holidays are often used as a time to spend with friends and family. They're always the best days in the year. Halloween, in particular, is my favorite holiday because you get to dress up as your favorite character and pretend to be someone different each year. Not to mention the rest of the activities like carving pumpkins and going to a haunted house. My costume for Halloween in my junior year was the most spontaneous ever. I did not know what my costume was going to be until the day before. I decided to pair up with my friend Fiorella and come up with something that, would, that could dress up as together. We tossed around random ideas and finally decided to be a 1980s aerobic dancer. The jacket I am wearing, as you can notice in the photograph, was actually my father's during his college years in the early 80s, and so were the Ray-Ban sunglasses. Her attire was also awesome because she wore her mother's leggings, leg warmers, and headband. Her mother was very much into the 80s aerobics trend and had many clothing from that decade. You can also notice that we are both holding small weights, which were also her mother's. We were the sensation of, of the night, moving those weights up and down. In the end, our costume turned out amazing thanks to our pack rat parents. When I look back now that I'm in college, I can sometimes get nostalgic of all those memories I had in high school. When I look at these pictures, I feel at peace as I know they are permanently engraved in my memory. Out of all the moments that happened during these fantastic years, my senior year, the vacation trips, and the holidays are of most importance to me. They are the highlights of what I consider to be the most significant parts of my life because I had the best time. I am glad that I had the opportunity to travel, to have fun during Halloween, and even be part of a fun graduating class. But now, my focus is college and I hope I can create similar memories with a new environment and new people.